All right, man. What's up? I'm Chuck. You stuck? What's up? I don't know why I gotta be the one to explain this. I don't even play it no more. I don't dropped off Apex. I'm not even knowing the game no more. It is what it is. Apex is where it is. Why do people still find it okay to invest into things and invest in the companies that don't care about them? Somebody gotta explain to me what that's about. Somebody got to explain to me why it's a good thing to be like, oh, boom, EA, I see what you're doing over there. I don't like it. Here go my bread game. Shut up and take my money. Like, I don't get it. I have so many people now, so many channels addressing the situation. But the funny part about it is these channels are going to be the same people that's going to go ahead and make new content once season 22 roll around. Oh, look at the new skin. Look at the new reactive. Oh, look what I got with my new coins. Oh, see, it's $40, but look at the things you can take away from it. You are coping, coping and seeding. It's going to be real interesting once we see this new wave of content coming and talking about this new season, but everybody apparently has a problem with it right now. Recency bias. If people really want to see something change, then they will actually do the thing that's going to change what's going on. Stop wasting your time. Stop spending your money. Run, go away, stop investing in the companies that do not care about you. <laughs> like literally, I never understood what's the benefit of just constantly investing into something that gives you diminishing returns. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I used to be a, a battlefield player game. Like talk about diminishing returns. Have you seen Battlefield 2042? Did you see the scope of Battlefield 5? My boy, a lot of money, a lot of time put into that. Mostly Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, but a lot of time put into it. I know how bad it was. This is EA still. Battlefield is EA. I just hope one day we understand that we have to be the ones who use our power with our dollar versus giving them all our time and all our money. It doesn't make any sense. Like somebody just got to explain it to me, bro. Like I, I just, I don't think I'm ever going to get it until, scratch that, I, I, I get it, I get it. It just sucks to have the reality. It really does suck to look at it and be like, oh, people don't want to actually do what's required to be better. People are more than fine with saying, you know what? Cool, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to continue to play the thing. I'm going to continue to spend money on the thing. And because I'm invested into the thing, I'm justified to complain about it. No dummy. Like, that's what they want you to do. Can wait, critique the thing after you have an understanding of what's going on. That's why they have people who get free reviews. That's why they got people who get free copies. That's why they got people who don't mind spending their time going ahead. Of course, that's a whole nother rabbit hole to go down. But the idea that there are outlets for you to use properly rather than say, hey, I got 70 to 100 and so dollars. I'm just going to jump in deep into this game company and spend all my money on them and show them, yeah, yeah, I'm gung ho. I'm a fan. And if I don't like it, I'm still going to come back. Hell no. Nah. Another one. I just spent what? 110 on Mortal Kombat 1? Brother. Brother. It makes no sense for a company that has multiple products that have succeeded in revenue the way that they have, but also have had an astronaut amount of criticism to continue to say, yeah, yeah we just going to keep releasing the same thing over and over and over and over again. We don't care. I'm the type of nigga stand on Benny, nigga. One man arm again. 50. I have a conversation with somebody in the YouTube set comment section. They're telling me, well, I spent a hundred and something dollars on this game. So I should be validated and complaining back and forth what's going on. And my criticisms are valid. And this is what they should do. And this is what they should do. And this is what they should do. What? I'm just mind boggled because if you have a valid criticism it probably will benefit you if you go Tis but a scratch talk to the company of course that just sounds you know 
Of course, that's just like, bah, that's just too simple. It won't work. It doesn't make any sense for people to continue to say that they want things to be better while wasting all of their time investing into things that don't make any sense. Like small comments on YouTube videos and, oh, well, this is the problem. And if EA get it together or if NetherRealm get it together or if Warner Bros. get it together or if all these companies get it together, it's not just going to happen having a congregation amongst each other in the YouTube comments. We got to use that time and that energy properly to take it to them and vote with our dollar and actually protest with our money, actually protest with our time. There is no protest when you're giving people $110 and saying, mm, I don't like it, but I'll buy the next one too. Now I commented on this video. Where is it? Let me see. Let me go to it. I commented right under it. Boom. First thing, come up. I say, Mortal Kombat X was so good that it catapulted NRS into another stratosphere. And their very next product was an indication of that. Everyone wanted MKX2, not what MK11 became. Interestingly enough, you got people who obviously want to chat. Want to talk about, I don't say something is good, something's bad. Yeah, you see, MK11 wasn't even bad. It's the worst shit game. It wasn't terrible. True. NRS is filled, you know, other guys say NRS is filled with some special folks. I'll say that. Who the fuck would look at MKS and say, yeah, let's gut it all. Imagine MK11 keeping it sprinting with the short hops MK and the MKX various variation system. Got it. Sounds good, right? This other guy said, is it really MKX that boosted NRS? I'm sure it's MK9 that made all of the players return in Mortal Kombat. Uh, that's two different things. People returning and boosting something is totally different. Guy naturally next to him replied perfectly. He said, Nine was the revival, X was the full sin, 11 was the start of the follow. Perfect. But the guy that I replied to, of course, is the guy that said MKX boosted NRS. I need to talk about that. So, like I said, the guy that said um, Nine was the revival, X was the full sin, 11 was the start of the follow. -up. He was correct. The black Cerberus just answered that question. NRS came back to life for MK9. Then became a true staple with MKX. Now their reputation is what it is because of MK11 and MK1. Guy, what? Then he replies. What did he reply to that? Oh, then another guy come in says, MK1 is that bad. I'm sorry. I never wanted an assist system in the game. And the screen movement crap is unique to MK1. So, you know, I'll push back again at that point. I say we're entitled to our opinions. I don't hate the cameo system, but I don't prefer it over the simple 1v1 either. Goro and Shiva can constantly make the screen move with their crappy tracking jumps, by the way. This isn't new at all. They jumped all over the damn place, man. Do a Goro jump, screen jump it to the left side. Do a Goro jump, screen jump to the right side. Do a Shiva jump. That's, that's simply how it goes. Yeah, you got some random moves like Lee Mei's. Dragon that will send the camera up, but that's nothing compared to the screen leaving you to go to the other side when a Goro jump comes in. <laughs> the guy says, if you say so, game is terrible in my opinion. That screen stuff happens far more often now than it ever did in the past in case. He just said it never happened. This is new. Now he's saying it happens way more. And now he says, MK and multiple characters can do it. It's not like how MK9, MKX with his broken issues. There's just little fun here and online is trash to boot as well. Game looks good though. It does have that going for it still. So I say, enjoy what you're playing, dude. As you should. Don't waste your time complaining about things. It's better off to actually just enjoy your time. Don't waste your time. I've been saying it all video. He comes right back with even more, guy. He said, I tried, but you realize I do have the right to voice my displeasure or something I bought, right? Okay, this is insane. I do the same with any game fighter, well, excuse me, with any game fighter or otherwise. If I'm spending 70 plus on a game and there's lots of bad decisions, I have the right to say it's crap, right? Keeping developers in check is how we keep stuff like this from happening. Keeping developers in check is how we keep stuff like this from happening. Who the hell are you keeping in check here? So I try to make it, you know, a bit more simple and try to simplify, even though I say a lot of words. I say, you completely misunderstand me, as well as the industry you're holding accountable. 
I said, enjoy what you're playing, meaning literally go enjoy your time playing a game you enjoy playing. Also spend $110 on the same game. And of course, you can express whatever displeasure you have is your opinion and your money. As long as we're willing to spend the money every cycle, our critique will end up where it always has. LOL. That is the truth. I'm simply saying I'd hope you spend your time more wisely on things you like rather than hoping voicing your concern on a YouTube comment will make companies change things. It's not. It's not. Voicing your com- voicing your opinion on a YouTube comment will not force developers to change anything. It's not going to work. By the way, you know, never replied to that for real. So, oh, yeah, yeah, he never replied to that. He replied to the next guy. But yeah, that's that's the biggest issue here. If people are more than fine, we just talking a hole into everyone else's head rather than the people who can make the change. No change will happen. Yeah, so tell me what you think, guys. Like, do you really think that anything will change the more we just talk to each other in the comment section? Or do you think we can actually make a change by using our money and our time the right way? Let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And let me know how you feel about this video, too. This is my first actual just chat rant type video. So let me know what's up.